Did the laws of nature change at the fall? An integral part of the Christian story is the fall, is the temptation of Eve by Satan in the Garden of Eden. Uh, Satan convinces Eve to eat from the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and she also gives some of the fruit from that tree to Adam, her husband. And as a result, the very first human beings disobeyed God's command. And as a result, the fall took place and sin is introduced into the creation. And as a result of Adam and Eve's rebellion, God curses the snake, he curses Eve, he curses Adam, and he appears to curse the earth as well. And many Christians believe that as a result of the fall in God's curse, that the laws of nature changed that the second law of thermodynamics was introduced as a result of the fall, that natural disasters began to happen on the earth, that even death was introduced into the creation. Yet, the scientific evidence doesn't match these claims. We see from the scientific record that the laws of thermodynamics have been in operation since the point of time that the universe had a beginning that we see when we look at Earth's history, the processes that caused natural disasters were in place from the very early stages of the Earth's development. We also see that there has been 3.8 billion years of life on Earth and 3.8 billion years of death on Earth as well. And with respect to animal death, there has been easily 600 million years of animal death on, on the Earth. And so the bottom line here is that science doesn't support these claims about the laws of nature changing at the fall. Is there a way to understand what happened at the fall in such a way that we don't violate the scientific record? I think the answer is yes, and it all has to do with properly understanding the curse. As it turns out, each aspect or each element of the curse corresponds to one of the commands that God gave to Adam and Eve at the time of their creation. Because they bore God's image, there were certain commands that God gave them, certain responsibilities that God gave them. And as a result of the fall, those Adam and Eve were no longer able to properly carry out those responsibilities. So for example, uh, Eve was created to be Adam's helpmate. And what we see in the curse is that now Eve is going to desire to rule over her husband. That, uh, that Adam and Eve were to multiply and fill the earth. And what we see from the curse is that uh, now Eve is going to have increased pain in childbirth. That we see from uh, the, the text that Adam was commanded to rule over the earth, to subdue the earth, to bring it under his control. And now he's going to, from the sweat of his brow, eat from the earth, battling thorns and thistles. And then last, Adam and Eve were to be caretakers of the planet, to be stewards of the planet, and now cursed is the earth because of them. In other words, what's happened is at the fall, nature didn't change, but Adam and Eve did in such a way that their relationship with God was broken, their relationship with each other was broken, and their relationship with the creation was broken as well. Uh, that the broken relationship between Adam and God resulted in spiritual death, separation from God, and that led to physical death. As the text said, from dust you were created, to dust you are going to return. Uh, that uh, Adam and Eve were now going to be at war with each other instead of being one another's helpmates. And this has impacted all of humanity, and we see that with the murder of Abel by his brother Cain. Also, we were to be, again, caretakers of the planet, but because of our broken relationship, instead of caring for the planet, we now do untold damage to the earth. And so it's these broken relationships that are ultimately the result of the fall, and the curse, again, isn't a change in the laws of nature, it's a change in human beings. So the bottom line here is that we can understand the curse in such a way that it makes sense in light of what we see in the scientific record.